Tillery from My Scraps. Uh, this week we are going to learn how to transform fall butternut squashes into Halloween ghosts. So it's perfectly simple. The most difficult part of this is finding butternut squash because the key is they have to stand up because you're going to want your ghosts to sit nicely like this. So you have to be there at the farm stand or the supermarket and test out different butternut squash till you find shapes you like. And then you have to see if they'll sit up by themselves without falling over. Once you have butternut squash to set up, that will sit up, you're good to go. All you need is white paint, black paint, paintbrush or sponge applicator, and you're ready to go. All set? Let's get started. So I like to squeeze out my paint. It doesn't take very much onto a paper plate, okay? So I've wiped off all the dirt, but other than that, I haven't done anything to the squash. They're as they are from the store. So you take your sponge applicator and paint your sponge. If you want to tape off the stem, you can. Um, I'm going to try and freehand around it today. And I like to go over and make sure that my paint strokes are all going the same way. It's a little translucent. You're going to see a little bit of the squash through the paint and that's okay. It doesn't have to be matte like white paper. So white paint, paint your squash. So it's a little tricky when you get to the bottom of the squash and you can leave the bottom of the squash unpainted if you want to because no one's going to see it it's going to be sitting on that part but if you want to I'm painting on craft paper because this way it doesn't get newsprint on what I'm painting so if you want to just tilt it over it's a very imperfect project and it's a perfect one to do with your kids there's no lines to paint in. They can't really mess it up. They're painting the squash white. Let them go out on the deck or the patio, give them some paint, give them some squash, have at it. Now, as you get near the end, you might wanna go over it with a second coat and make it a little bit thicker so that the coverage is a little more Keep those nice up and down strokes. So that just makes it look a little bit neater. And now you can let it dry and then decide if you want to do a second coat. And there you have it. See? Not perfect. Just a white squash. Okay. Once your white paint is dry and it's the consistency that you like, you want to look at your squash and find the best side for his face. For her face. I kind of like it this way. I like the little stem going off to the side. So then you're going to take another foam painter or paintbrush, whatever is your preference, a little bit of black paint, and you're going to paint two eyes, okay? All right. I'm going to get a small paintbrush for a little more preciseness. Okay, so I'm going to use a small paintbrush instead, but you don't want to use anything with too hard of bristles or it'll scratch the white paint that you already have on there. It's a little bit of black paint, much better. See that? Ghost eye. A little bit more black paint.
And there you have it. A little butternut squash ghost. And these look great out on your front step or your stoop with your mums and your pumpkins and your jack-o'-lanterns. They add a little pop of white. So enjoy. And that's how you turn butternut squash into Halloween ghosts. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.